James Bond from Russia with Love is an okay game, but it has drawbacks. The game does a tremendous job in the art style, and the game looks great, but there is stuff missing. For example, there are no car sequences like in the console versions. The game is just a bunch of shootouts, with some very light puzzle solving in between. Also Spectre became Octopus in the game because of licensing reasons. As for the gadgets you get, you get ones like the Q-Copter, a miniature helicopter that provides Bond with surveillance of hard to reach areas and acts as a weapon, it explodes on command. Bond also has a special belt that lets him rappel and ascend steep areas. There's also the crazy jetpack, which you can use to navigate certain levels and, and wreak havoc with its machine guns and guided rockets. You also get Q darts and the laser watch. Most of the game is just a bunch of shootouts, but at least the shooting mechanics are great. You even get the bond focus mode, which isn't that fun to use, but it's helpful. In the bond focus mode, when you press square, you can focus on an area where you want to shoot. Basically, it's some sort of manual target, but it feels pretty sloppy. The game consists of 8 single player missions, and after you finish the mission, you unlock the challenges. And with the challenges added, the game offers around 2 hours of gameplay, even more. Which is pretty good. And there are unlockables to be found, like more challenges and hidden characters for the multiplayer, now, the online multiplayer is dead, but luckily, the PSP also has ad hoc, and you can play that ad hoc multiplayer with friends, meaning that if you have other friends with PSPs, up to 6 players can play in multiplayer. You just gather around, connect your PSPs via ad hoc, and have a blast. And you can play with friends death matches and last man standing, overall the game is decent. It sounds more promising on paper. The first mission and some missions through feel great, but others are just very dull, especially those that have nothing to do with the plot of the movie. This doesn't mean that the game is bad. It's easy to pick up, but a little tough when the game has frame rate stutters, awkward targeting or poor distribution of ammo. You'll be happy when a checkpoint comes by, but the game is still a decent experience overall. Even if it had parts where it feels dull and repetitive or sloppy. But then, the great graphics and the good gameplay will still make you probably want to play it till the end. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.